Hope your Monday was a good one. Welcome back to the work week and the last full week of February, which is not going to feel anything like February actually should be feeling like. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onig. This is Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us for our video weather blog update of all the forecast out there where we try to give you as much weather information as we can, much more than you usually get during a regular televised weathercast. So keeping you updated on the very mild conditions out there, We're going to be seeing some big temperature changes is going upwards in the next few days. So we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Email me at aonic at wdef.com and join us on our website for more forecast updates at wdef.com slash weather. Gray skies and a lot of clouds out there, but some sunshine making its way through. Island Cove, Marina, and Resort Camera showing traffic on Tennessee Highway 58 at the Hunter Road intersection moving along pretty nicely at this time. And should be, again, a decently quiet evening out there for now. We will see chances of showers here and there through off and on tonight, tomorrow, early Wednesday, and then again early on Thursday before we get some fairly breezy conditions as our next storm system passes us back to the north. Temperatures as we go into the next couple of days. Tomorrow, some 15 degrees above normal, 20 degrees above normal on Wednesday, 30 degrees above normal as we go into Thursday as our latest storm system passes back to the north of us. We'll show you that coming up in just a little bit. You can see our normal high temperatures for this time of the year, and we were about 8 degrees above that, but 13 degrees below a record low high that hasn't been set since 1986, and 50 degrees are our low temperature, which is again about 13 degrees above normal and way above our record low temperature back in 1958. Remember, this is still February, so this is a time where we can get some very cold numbers around here, but we haven't seen that anytime soon. A little breezy this afternoon, wind gusts maxing out at 27 miles per hour. And we did not officially pick up any rain showers at the airport login station, which is where the official measurements come from. But we are, again, just behind for the month and just a fraction ahead for the entire year. So we could use some more rainfall. Probably going to be making that up in the next few days. Thanks to Joseph Kimmery. Hope I'm saying that correctly. For fluffy clouds mixed with sunshine from Ringgold. That's our West Shore Home weather window picture of the day for Monday. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them and show them. Send them along to us at pictures at WDEF.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. That's also where we post these pictures to. So if you'd like to see them close up, they're all available right there. High pressure bringing in moisture and very warm air off of Mexico and the Gulf. That's doing a good job of keeping our cloud cover out there and also doing a good job of keeping the chances of very light showers around and about. We're just not seeing a lot of them for right now. The next storm system is kind of coalescing together out into around the Rockies and the Plain States. Now high pressure down to our south is going to do a very good job of pushing that storm system up to our north, which means we are not going to be seeing any of the winter weather that this system is going to be developing. And if you are traveling, I would say anything to the north of I-70 in the next couple of days, that's where we could see, again, the potential of ice, snow, even blizzard conditions across portions of the upper Midwest. So we could be looking at some dangerous travel conditions. So if you're going anywhere between Denver and around, say, Toronto, uh, Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, and Kansas City north of that line, I would be very cautious of anything in that location. So anything north of there, might want to call ahead and check your destination just to be on the safe side because that is where the winter weather is going to be winding up. We are going to be seeing better chances of showers coming on through off and on through tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon as we get more moisture off the Gulf. But they're going to be more hit and miss than anything else not seeing a concentrated amount of rainfall until probably Wednesday morning. And even then, it's going to be decently widely scattered. We're not seeing anything in the way of really powerful weather, no severe weather, no thunderstorms, anything like that. Very much on the mild side, though. Tuesday afternoon temperatures back in the high 60s to the mid to lower 70s. Low temperatures Wednesday morning, about a category above our normal high temperatures for this time of the year. And by Wednesday afternoon, temperatures back in the lower 70s, about 20 degrees above our normal high temperatures for February, just about. So this is going to be some exceptionally warm weather coming on through. 
and not going to be feeling like February should, that's for certain. So for tomorrow, we'll be looking at mid to upper 60s by lunchtime, lower 70s briefly in some areas, but otherwise mid to upper 60s, cooling off a little bit by the time we work our way into the rush hour period tomorrow afternoon. It could be, again, some random raindrops around the area, but that's going to be about it. Temperatures over the next few days, again, for the celebration of Shrove Tuesday, Fat Tuesday, the end of Mardi Gras, whatever you want to call it, coming up. Some chances of showers, but not great. Showers, maybe a thunderstorm late Ash Wednesday evening. So we could be looking at the potential of maybe some light up skies there, but I really don't see much of a possible problem. And then we get into, again, some of the warmest weather that we have seen in quite some time. Lower 80s, again, that's about 30 degrees above normal for this time of the year on Thursday. Before we start to drop back down again on the temperatures, that'll be Friday's number back in the upper 50s. And even that is going to be just above normal for this time of the year. Looking at numbers through the rest of the week, we'll be warming back up again through the weekend. Numbers back in the 70s by the time we work our way into around Monday next. Again, toward about the 27th, not doing too bad, but we will also see chances of rain possibly sticking around as March comes in like a lion, looking at some chances of showers and maybe some thunderstorms there. So again, those very warm weather conditions are going to continue into the next couple of days. So if you have any plans for outdoors, looks like you're going to be able to keep those at least where the temperature is concerned. Severe weather, we are moving into that prime season and Severe Weather Awareness Week for the state of Tennessee is this week. If you'd like to know more about the topics and what you can expect, again, learning about severe weather, maybe you just moved here and have never been through severe weather before, now's the time to learn about it and get ready for it before any severe weather moves on through. So go to weather.gov slash MRX. That's the National Weather Service in Morristown that covers the northern part of the News 12 viewing area. Mondays, topic flooding and flash flooding tuesday will be lightning the underrated killer and as we go into and around wednesday that will be a very good one tornado safety and preparedness that will also be the statewide tornado drill test at about 10 30 in the morning to get you ready again to test your weather radio to make certain it's working and several other topics coming in as we go throughout the rest of the week go to weather.gov mrx for more on that for national weather service training sessions we're going to be having more from the national weather service in morristown monroe and marion counties tennessee the february the 23rd 6 p.m at Madisonville, Tennessee, and on Tuesday, the 21st of March, 6 p.m. Central Time for Marion County, Tennessee. The National Weather Service in Huntsville has added a meeting for both DeKalb and Jackson counties in Alabama, which are in the News 12 viewing area at the Northeast Alabama Community College Building, uh, Community College and the Math, Science, and Engineering Building, 138 Alabama Highway 35. That's in Rainsville, Alabama, 6 p.m. Central Time. That's going to be March the 24th. That's a Friday. More information, you can find out more at weather.gov slash MRX or weather.gov slash HUN for the various National Weather Service websites there. Also get ready to program your weather radio. We can help you do that. Find out more at WDEF.com slash weather. And if you can't make the Skywarn meetings in person, National Weather Service in Morristown has a virtual Skywarn spotter training class. Again, weather.gov slash MRX. And if you'd like to have one of our weather personnel visit you, go to our website, WDEF.com, and click on weather in the classroom for more. All this and much more are going to be issued on my social media pages. So find me out there someplace, Tumblr, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Counter Social, Facebook. You'll find me out there someplace in various forms and other places as well. We'll have updates on the forecast, which again, so far does not include any severe weather. But at this time of the year, that can change. So stay up to date with what's going on. This week would be a good week to be weather aware, even though there's no active systems aimed to hit the area best to get ready for it and learn what to do just to be on the safe side a dry run would not be such a bad idea again keep up to date on what's going on with our forecast at wdef.com slash weather and give me a shout at aonic at wdef.com if you'd like to contact me directly out there i'm chief meteorologist austin onic you've been watching news 12's video weather blog weather overtime stay tuned for much more on air and online from news 12.